Hey guys, back again with another Season 10 Riven Gameplay Guide, guys. Today, we're going to redo the Mordekaiser matchup because, uh, you know, someone has to play Mordekaiser against me. But anyways, guys, you can find the full routes as well as the full build in the description below as well as the... Uh, as well as everything in the comment section, so make sure to check that out. And with that being said, let's uh, let's cover this matchup, guys. So everyone is actually playing Mordekaiser at the moment. It surprised me. Every single time I go into another queue, I happen to find another guy playing Mordekaiser. Because this champion is honestly just extremely broken at the moment. So I'm not being surprised as much. But anyway, let me actually try and see if I can get to level 2 first here. No. He's giving, uh, he's taking the level 2 here. Alright. So, the way how this matchup is going to go, guys. Um, I'm going to let the Mordekaiser push in all the way so I can freeze the lane around my side of the lane. And as soon as we reach level level 3, when we unlock the my stun, we can finally start trading this guy. I'm going to show you guys how to deal with him. Alright. Oh, and also, by the way, do not mind if I sound a little bit sick because uh, it's not going well with me at the moment. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. Yeah, do not mind my, uh, my nose and stuff. But anyways, back to the matchup, guys. So, we just got to level 3 right here. Let me just take the... Oh, I just missed a big hit. Are you serious? Oh, wow. He's actually using that one. Oh, I dodged it. Hmm... Yeah, that was not the best trade out there. I never expected him to do like a random E there, but it's fine. It's okay. I can actually all in him right now because I got Ignite Advantage. Here we go. Free kill. The power of Ignite. I keep saying it over and over again, and I still don't understand why no one plays Ignite on Riven at the moment. I, I, I tell you guys, man, Riven with Ignite in Season 10 is more broken than ever. In Season 9, TP was the best choice out there, but with all the changes that has came to the XP, like uh, XP changes in top lane and stuff, Ignite Riven is actually so good right now. Could have never had that kill there. All right. I'm going to buy that. I'm also going to buy like this. Perfect. So against Mordekaiser, there's two directions that you can go for. You can actually build a Hex Drinker, which honestly sounds like a pretty good idea considering they have Lux, Cassidy, and Mordekaiser. You can build that and be completely safe in the lane. But what you can also do, you can actually stack up two Dorm Blades, go for the Essential Rebuild into, uh, into Death Stands. That's for when you're snowballing. And then you have the other option, which is to build that stance into Black Cleaver and stuff like that. You also have Ghost Blade, but that's like another story. You can build that too. Anyway, we might actually get a gank here. But anyway, I'm actually thinking of going Hex Rink in this game because they have so much AP this game. But if I start snowballing, I'll probably go for a Sentry Reaver anyways. Wanna trade him here? Nice. Oh, I didn't want to do the last Q. Accident. I'm gonna, Q, uh, I'm gonna eat that. So, the way how this matchup goes pretty much is every single time that Mordekaiser will go for one of the CS, you want to go in and do like a short trade. You wanna keep on short trading Mordekaiser until he's low enough for you to all in him. And the greatest thing about this matchup that he is, um, his E is extremely easy to predict because it looks really obvious. You know exactly when he's going to. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, he's using Q there. I want to see if I can walk up and bait his E down. No. Okay. I'm just going to back off. Going to relax here. Oh. There comes his... Yeah. There we go. Nice. Every single time he uses his Q... You want to dodge it either by using your Q or your E. It's really easy to uh, to figure out when he's going to use his Q. Oh. Alright. I still got two potions, so I can just keep doing this over and over until he's low enough. 
My ignite is already back up, which means that I can... All I have to do right now is just find a way to get him low enough. And then we can go for the old in. Lee Sin is mid, so I don't have to place a ward down. Gonna pop my potion here, because if he comes in... He doesn't have a shield. Let's go. He doesn't have a shield. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna be a free kill right there. The thing about the Mordekaiser matchup is you either get him low enough by short trading, making the right moments, making the right decisions, or you get to level 6, and as soon as he comes back in lane without a shield, you will simply go for the all-in with Ignite. You will pretty much always get a kill all the time. If Mordekaiser doesn't have his passive, his shield, if he doesn't have anything of that, he becomes very vulnerable for 1v1s, for all lanes. That's his weakest point. Okay, let's go back here. I'd say if you're having trouble in the Mordekaiser matchup and you find yourself up against like 3 APs, you can go for Hex Shrinker. But since, since I am already snowballing so hard in the laning phase with like 2 kills so far, I'm just going to buy a Sentry Reaver first. Okay, let's go back to lane. Just wait for my ignite and then we can do the same thing all over. Okay. I can't remember Mordekaz using his flash yet. Oh, this is bottom, so I don't have to place a ward down, except I just don't know where Cassidy is, but we will figure out very soon. Okay, we got a dodge to see right now. Nice. I still have two potions, so I'm fine. Nice. We can freeze down this wave. If we freeze this wave, Mordekaiser has to come back to push out the lane. Gonna dodge the Q here. Nice. Got some more damage off. Okay, he missed the next Q again. Really good. Now I'm going to trade him, see if I can maybe do some more damage. Nice. I'm going to dodge the E. And now we can actually all in him because my ultimate is back and his, uh, his shield is all the way down again. If he gets close right now, which he will have to, he has to get close. Then we're going to go for all in and get a free kill. He's in that bush. We're going to go all in. Nice. Oh, that's one auto. Okay, there we go. We still got him. Nice. Now we can push that all the way. We just gotta be careful. Oh, Lee Sin is here. He just showed up. Good. I still don't have to place a ward down because we know exactly where Lee Sin is. Cassidy is mid lane as well. So. Push it all the way in. Take one auto attack so we can get the planning here. Oh, we can even get another plating. Lee Sin is still dead right now. Mordekaiser still has to respawn. I could even take a third one. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna TP. Makes sense. Okay, let's go back here. Gonna place a ward down to make sure he doesn't get chase us down here. Alright. Man, I really hope I, I'm not getting uh, more sick right now. Alright. Um, gonna buy a sentry over here. I have to wait for like 10 gold. Nice. We have a Sand Reaver at about 10 minutes and 30 seconds in the game. The good thing is, we already have Ignite up for the next upcoming t uh, next upcoming 1v1. My ultimate is going to be 40 seconds. So it's just a matter of just farming a little bit, trying to pressure as much as possible, and then look for another 1v1. Lee Sin is on bottom, doing the dragon, so... We're just going to be pushing it very hard. Alright. Good. Oh, that's where Mordekaiser is. I'm not going to fight him right now because my ultimate is still in cooldown. I'm just going to do like a short trade. Right. I can actually dive him.
that's not looking good on bot lane so far. Like, Lucian is snowballing really hard. And my bottom is losing very hard. We're gonna have to carry these guys. Okay, pushing it all the way. Very good. Now if he tries to come in, I'm gonna 1v1 him. He has to come topside because I'm taking the platings right now. Okay, free platings for me. I got him. Nice. We're so strong right now with the Ascent Shaver that we can easily die for Mordekaiser on our tower. Even if we don't get the crits of the item, we still get so much damage from it. Okay, Lee Sin is missing right now. They're not taking the dragon, so I have to be really careful here. Lee Sin cannot 1v1 me. But if he comes with Lucian, then I'll be in trouble. Because Lucian, like, I'm worth a lot of gold right now. If Lucian gets kills on me, uh, <laughs> it's not going to be good, guys. All right. Let's go and buy a Warhammer now. Nice. Or actually, yeah, that's perfect. I'm still going to get Hexrink in this game. Not because of Lucian or anything like that. It's just that they have Lux on support. They have a Cassidy in mid lane and they have a Mordekaiser top. They have three champions that are AP. So why not build Hexrink here, guys? It's a perfect item. Yeah, I got him. Oh, got to dodge that one. She doesn't have ultimate. All right, push it all the way. Hopefully, Lee Sin is not being here. The good thing is that... I don't know. Did I actually get the kill on Lucian? Yeah, I think I did. Anyways, Lucian went down. Lucian was worth a lot of gold. So... With all that gold, we're now even strong in her. We're so strong right now. If we get the death stance, we become unstoppable. What like Mordecai is just not gonna outskill a Riven that has a Sentry Reaver and Death Stance. That's not going to happen. And Cassidin, I can 1v1 Cassidin any time in the game. Let's see if we can get another kill on this guy. I'm just gonna hope he's gonna walk past. Nice. He was worth another 150 gold. So, I just killed him twice, which means that we got twice the bounty, guys. Like, look look at that, guys. We're winning topside against Mordekaiser. Lucian is extremely strong in this game. Everyone was feeding him. But, with the moves I was making, I was able to translate... Uh, the, my, my winning top lane over to bot lane. Get all the kills. Get all the gold, you know. I could 1v1 him right now. But I'm not going to. I do not want to risk it too much. Actually, forget about the death sense for now. I might still consider getting it later. But first, I want to just finish the essential Reaver mall. And the mall. We can still get the death stance. The only problem this game is that I'm overcapping my CDR when I don't have transcendence. But I mean, what does the 10% even mean? Like 8 AD or something? Doesn't matter as much. I got him. I'm too strong right now. So, like, as you guys can see, man, Mordecai starts even building, he's building Seeker's Arm Guard, he's building Ninja Tobbies, he's building, like, Brambles fast. And even after building all those armor items, he still cannot 1v1 me, because I'm too far ahead in the game at the moment. So, he's completely out of the game. If you're rushing armor items, and you're still losing the 1v1, then you're out of the game. He will not come back, because building armor items... Your wave clearing becomes extremely bad. 
he cannot farm camps anymore when I can do that. Like, Riven can't farm anything very fast. So, I'm only growing strong at the moment, and Mordecai, sir, he's not going to come back. Never. Lee Sin's bottom, so I gotta have I have to back off here. He's gonna maybe pass the river. No. Maybe I can kill him here. Oh well the thing is I don't want to flash for him. I prefer keeping my flash. Well, there's a ward there, but I'm not gonna risk taking that ward. Good. Mordecai is just going mid lane. We're just gonna go bottom again. I'm gonna keep pushing it out. For as long as I'm safe. I don't have ultimate. It's still 20 seconds. Also, I would like to get some life steal very soon. Yeah, of course, he's going to try to look for 1v1s, but obviously, I'm not going to 1v1 him right now. Maybe if my team comes in, we can actually get a kill here. Maybe. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to wait for my moment. Uh, well, Lucian is here. Nice, I got him. It doesn't matter if my team is doing bad, because if I have 8 kills in the game, it's over. If I make the right moves right now, it's they will never turn this game. I got him. Thank you. Doesn't matter how many kills Lucian has. I'm just outperforming everyone. I'm gonna get this camp here too so I can pull myself ahead. The dragon will be up in about 8 seconds. Lee Sin is topside because he's tilted. So we're going to take the dragon and make it even easier time. Kassadin is still scaling up his Rod of Ages. Oh man. By the way, I'm really sorry that I'm sniffing all the time with my nose. It's, I, I cannot do anything about this, guys. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> Why does it have to be right now when it's about to be New Year? I always get sick in, in like holidays, vacation, or when, when something interesting happens. Alright, uh, so the next item we're going to buy is going to be a death stance. And we're going to grab some life steal as well, because, I mean, why not? Once again, like, I'm overcapping the CDR. I know, I do. But I can still replace my boots later on. So, technically, my boots is still very useful because it gave me, uh... It gave me the cooldown a lot earlier in the game. I can kill him. I don't know if they notice. Yeah, I, I got him here. Hmm. Oh, well. I got him here. This is where Mordekaiser is. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so we've got the Mordekaiser. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to be pushing the entire top side. And then we're going to group mid. Maybe we can get some kills. Doesn't matter if they fight, I'm just gonna push topside and take a free tower. Dude, th th does she even notice that I was standing here? <laughs> Alright. 
gonna take the camp here. Remember guys, stealing jungle camps is going to put the enemy jungler behind. So even if I don't fight them right now, I'm still putting them behind. Mm. I might be three levels ahead right now, but I still cannot dive him because he's got too much armor. Alright, I'm gonna group up with my team. My flesh will be up in about 20 seconds. So if I push topside right now and then group mid, I sh we should be able to win. Wow, he's got so much armor. Wow. He, go he goes right through my entire ignite with all my damage. That's how much armor he has. Obviously, he's still not going to win that, but it just surprised me. We've been able to outfarm him super hard, but that's not because we're we're like farming like a god this game. It's more because we're extremely strong. We've got a lot of kills, we have the items, and we can farm jungle camps pretty easily. Something that you cannot really do if you're playing other champions such as like Poppy for instance or like any kind of tank. Oh wow. He had a ward. Uh, I was going to buy Dead Stands. I'm also going, going to buy Last Whisper because they have uh, they have a lot of tanks, so we can do that. But anyways, the good thing about playing Riven, guys, this is what a lot of people always forget. If you're playing, let's say you're playing Riven against um, against the Maokai as an example, the laning phase can be really rough, right? It can be really rough sometimes playing against tanks, especially in Season 10 when Conqueror doesn't really have the true damage anymore. But the thing is, guys, the thing is, Riven is designed to be a split pusher and team fighter, everything at once. She's amazing at farming jungle camps and farming lane at the same time. If you're playing Maokai and you're becoming the tank of the team, you cannot really farm jungle camps. You, you can... You cannot really wave clear. She, Maokai doesn't really have wave clear. And that's where Riven comes into place. Like the laning phase can be very hard. But let's be real honest. After the laning phase you're only getting ahead of Maokai. And there's probably nothing you can do. No, I can't really fight him. I got him. I still got him. I just have to chase for a while. Ah, I was trying to dodge it. Ah, I still got him. I still, I got him too. Nice. That's just how strong I am right now. No problem. Uh, let me see if I can take the red buff here. No, they are, they've already gotten the red buff. Did they really take every single camp here? Huh, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Probably Lee Sin took everything there. We've already got a lead of about four levels, guys. And it's only it's only getting better. You saw Cassidy does no damage on me, even like despite me having no armor, just having magic resist. He does no damage on us at all. And even if he tries to do damage, I still have my Hack Shrinker shield too, so. You see the power of what Hack Shrinker can do, guys. Just being ahead of in the game and just having like one single Hack Shrinker can change so much. Lee Sinister on top side, but there's like four people on bottom, so if they go back here, 
I'm gonna all in them. Maybe one before. I don't even know if they notice. Or why everyone's like forcing them back. I'm not sure, man. You guys aren't very smart. Letting me push in here all the time. <laughs> Do they even notice? <laughs> What's going on, man? I think they have to be trolling here. This is the most interesting kind of ending that I've had in a in a while. No. I got him. Hmm. If I get one single crit I mean, I would like to fight them, but... <laughs> oh, man. I feel bad for this Lux. Oh, that's where Lisa is. Okay, well... I'm so far ahead right now. I'm just gonna buy my last Whisper, do one single flash in this game, and it's gonna be over. Nice. Actually, I could even buy... Um, actually, I have a much better idea. I'm even going for Guardian's Angel and then buy Last Whisper after. Oh, that's the Lucian. Guardian's Angel. Okay. All we have to do right now is just push out and then it's over. Nice. I got him. I guess, I guess the enemy team is trolling right now because, or at least, oh wow, or at least really tilted after me having like 16 kills in the game. My entire team was doing pretty bad. And like, you guys see it, despite my team doing so awful this game, I was still able to bring them back. So... You guys, you guys saw it. Lucian had about five kills or six kills, I think, or even seven kills. I don't know, but we snowballed that so hard it didn't even matter. So, guys, do not ever tell me that bot lane needs to do well. Do not ever tell me that bot lane is feeding and that you cannot carry your game, because honestly, as a top laner, if you can play Riven on a good level and you can and you can win your lane, you can carry bot lane so easy, man. Honestly, it's always been like this. If you cannot get yourself out of, of silver elo or diamond elo, it's it's yourself, man. It's it's not your team. It's yourself. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I'm sorry once again. I, I'm a little bit sick right now. Hopefully, uh, you guys don't mind. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Do not forget to check out my secondary channel. It will be in the description below, guys. And with that being said, I'll see you guys very soon, man. Take care.